In this video, we're going to take a look at how Excel does formulas. I've got a simple budget here, and what we're going to do is we're going to calculate some totals. So the total for the month of January here should be equals B3 plus B4 plus B5. Hit enter, and it sums the numbers for me now. Uh, I typed everything in that time when I was typing in the formula. But I'm going to delete this formula and show you another way that I think may be easier. Start with an equal sign again, and then click on the first number, and then do type a plus, and then click on the second number, and then type a plus, and then click on the third number, and then hit the enter key. And uh, one reason I like that method of doing it is if you click on the number, you know for sure that you're getting the right number. Uh, if you type the number in, it's possible that you could have a typo and, and uh, type in an incorrect cell reference. So uh, either way works, though. Okay, now I'm going to take this formula. I also want to copy or figure out what the sum of these columns is. And I'm going to take this formula here and go to the lower right-hand corner and get my fill handle and drag it across. Uh, we'll drag it across uh, to both of them here. And I'm getting a number 1,000, which makes sense because that's what the sum of these three numbers is. But when I took the formula B3 plus B4 plus B5 and copied it to column C, it magically changed into C3 plus C4 plus C5. And when I copied it to column D, it also changed into D3 plus D4 plus D5. Okay, well, how did Excel know to do that? Well, Excel didn't really know to do that. Um, the way Excel interprets terms in a formula, let's go back to our original formula here is, and let's double click on it. And we get the blue line around the first term, the green line around the second term, and the purple line around the third term. It doesn't really store that formula as B3 plus B4 plus B5. It stores it as uh, three cells above plus two cells above plus one cell above. Okay, So if I copy a formula that says add the number three cells above plus the number two cells above plus the number one cell above, and I copy it over here, well, those three cells are going to be these three right here. And so it does what I want to do. And if I copy it here, those are the cells I want. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's try something. Let's copy that formula. And then I'm just going to pick some random place out here, and I'm going to paste it in. Okay. Well, what I'm getting now is the number zero. Uh, it represents um, zero with just a dash when you're do using dollars and cents. But look at the formula. The formula is G13 plus G14 plus G15. And look where I am. I'm in G16. Those are the three cells above. So no matter where I copy that formula to, I'm, it uh, yeah, won't let me do multiple copies here. Uh, copy it again and paste it in over here and double click, and it's the three cells above. Okay. So that actually makes it easier to enter formulas in Excel uh, because frequently if you want to sum one column of numbers, you also want to sum the column right next to it. And uh, there's a lot of repetitious formulas that occur in Excel. Now let's say I want to do totals for the different categories. Um, let's go over here and instead of typing in something plus something plus something this time, we're going to go to our home tab and go to the auto sum button over here. And the auto sum button has five commonly used functions over here one of which is sum. Click on sum and it will tell me that it's trying to sum B3 to D3. The colon in the middle means everything in between. And this is called a range in Excel. And it turns out that in Excel, I'm going to hit the enter key because that's what I want. In Excel, if you try to do a sum function at either the end of a row of numbers or the bottom of a column of numbers, uh, it assumes that you want all the numbers in that row or all the numbers in that column. And if that's what you want, then you don't have to do anything else. Uh, your formula will be correct. Now let's take this formula and copy it down the page and let's see what happens. Up here it was B3 to D3. Down here it's B4 to D4 because I'm on row 4. Down here it's B5 to D5. Down here it's B6 to D6. And if I double click on any one of them, I'll get this blue box around the three cells to the left every single time. Okay. Now there's another common function up here and it's on the auto sum button and it's called average. And this is an example where you don't want to take Excel's word for it. Excel thinks that you want to average all four of these numbers, but it's, that includes the total. We don't want that. So I've got two choices here. I can actually click here and change the E to a D 
But the easy way to fix this is just take your mouse and drag it over the range of numbers that you want, B3 to D3. And when you've got that selected, and you've, you can verify your formula here as well, uh, you can hit the Enter key, and it'll tell me the average food expenditure is $300. Now if I get this and copy it down, same thing. If I double click here, it's these cells, but it's skipping the one right next to it. If I double click here, it's these three cells, but it's skipping the one right next to it. And if I double click here, it's these cells, but it's skipping the one right next. Now you gotta be careful. Do not, while you're doing this, click on another cell, because um, sometimes that'll mess up your formula. It didn't in this case, but uh, be careful. Whenever you double click on a cell, what you're doing is you're editing that formula. Notice also, if you double click on a cell, Look at all the stuff that gets grayed out up here. Uh, when you're editing stuff, all kinds of options on your ribbon get grayed out. So if you're looking for something on the ribbon and you don't find it there, it's grayed out and you think it should be there, what it almost certainly means is that you didn't finish editing what you were doing. So you can either hit the Enter key to finish editing, or if you want to cancel your editing, you can hit the Escape key, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay. And that's how relative formulas work in Excel. It's really pretty simple. Uh, Excel makes it very easy for you to copy formulas from one part of the worksheet to another.